There are so many beautiful places to visit in Karingai and there are some great walking tracks that take you through our bushland reserves. We're going to go have a look today at some of the work that Council has been doing to make the tracks more accessible, more inclusive and more enjoyable for everybody. When you are out in the bush, it's important that you stick to the form tracks and trails, take your rubbish with you, take some beautiful photographs, make some beautiful memories. The older eucalypts in the landscape form some big old hollows and it's, it's a good idea to just have a little look and see if there are any, any animals like the powerful owl or the cockatoos peeking back out of you from one of their homes. I knew I'd bump into you down here, Trav. G'day, Jacob. How you going? Good Very to see well. you down here, eh? You too. Mate, the boys have been busy. They so. have, indeed, yes. So each bag has uh, materials in it so we can do some work along the track. And uh, each bag weighs about 600 kilos. Uh, and brings in, yeah, like I say, the material. So in some of them we've got gravel to do the decking and, and stone to do some of the steps and, and that sort of stuff, yeah. So. And it's just a single bag on each one of the helicopter trips. Yeah, that's right. So the helicopter's limited to about 600 kilos per lift. So we've got, uh, when we bag them all up, we've got our own set of scales. Um, we make sure that it's not going to be over that 600 kg. And uh, yeah, we've, we've had uh, 180 bags brought in on the second lift operation. Yeah, wow. It's a big job and I know we've got a bit of help in terms of paying for all that work. A big thanks to the uh, Local Community Infrastructure Grants Program, which is an, a federal government initiative to uh, stimulate uh, economy growth uh, on the back of the, uh, the COVID lockdowns. So uh, big thanks to them. This project wouldn't have come across if, uh, if it wasn't for them to kick it in. And a huge benefit for the community to have these tracks that are well maintained. And it's not easy to, to get the machinery. And we've got to go visit Dan in a little bit, but to really work on these tracks, it takes a lot of work. Yeah, absolutely. So this track itself um, goes back to the, you know, many, many years. Um, I think it was built by the uh, early workforce teams after the depression. Um, and council itself haven't done much maintenance on it for the last 20 years. So I figured it's a great opportunity to, to bring it up to standard again and, uh, and make, make the most of it for our, our community. As you walk down the tracks, it's amazing how the vegetation communities change. And you can just take note of how much moisture is around, whether you're close to a riparian area or whether you're on a ridge top, and start to look at the different sorts of plants that inhabit that space. With the gullies and the valleys that define Karingai, the landscape changes so quick with rain that it's a great opportunity after rain or even during rain to come down and have a look at one of our local waterways and get a completely different perspective. Rocky outcrops in the sandstone country form these crevices and once again we've got homes for all sorts of different wildlife, whether it's microbats using the smaller cracks in the rocks or reptiles sneaking in to warm up on a cold day. Mangroves are a really interesting vegetation community and this track takes you past some areas where you can get some really good views. So the big issues out on these walking tracks are erosion and taking care of the water and the drainage. Yeah, that's right. Um, water and tracks just don't mix at all, eh? So where we can get water off the track, um, we'll have we'll increase the longevity of the track all the time. So a lot of water is coming down there. So we've done a lot of hardening on the site here, and that prevents the water from washing the track away. So we've got some rock armoring through here and some water bars to drain that water across which will help settle the track in and make it stay for a long time. Associated with mangrove vegetation communities, we also have this salt marsh, which extends only in small patches, but there's a good example of it just down here. So we've had a bit of a look at all the different work that you're doing, whether we're fixing up the drainage or making it more accessible, and it looks like that's what you've done here. This being a slippery area, um, we uh, put in these stepping stones, so they've been um, cut into the into the stone so they're well anchored in. So and you do the cutting of the rock on site here? Absolutely, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, I think it looks great. It makes it a lot easier for people to, to walk yeah. across safely and just enjoy this area. It's, um, I've curved that and curved this to create kind of like a synergy area as well. So you come into two different angles. As a track builder for many years, you try and aim for that instead of square. Dan, what are some of the challenges working out on a remote site like this one? Well, um, obviously getting material down, so logistically it can be a bit challenging, um, but we use helicopters to fly in material um, to create less disturbance to the uh, environment around us. 
because the aim of the game is to build walking tracks which look like they've already been here and there's little disturbance to the bush around us. I love the people that come here, it's great. I mean like this place is fantastic. You can go, you can see a powerful owl or you can see a wallaby or you can see a Cunningham skink on the way in. It's just, it's amazing, you know. This best place in Karingai, I reckon. So I've had a look at the beautiful Two Creeks track and I really encourage everybody to come out here and enjoy it. When you do, stay on the tracks, clean up after yourselves, take your rubbish. If you bring your dog, keep it on a leash and make sure you clean up after your dog. And just recognise that we're in a place of incredible cultural biodiversity and Aboriginal significance. And it's just a really special place to have in our backyard. I'll see you next time on EnviroTube.